In this short video, I will demonstrate some of the features of our seamless integration between Microsoft Teams and Swixit. I'll also deal with some of the most common questions and confusion about voice call in Teams. But apart from the cost, the lack of full telephony features is the biggest concern when integrating voice. So our solution keeps the amazing capabilities of Swix, allows users to work anywhere, requires no additional licensing or calling plans from Microsoft. There's no requirement for an SBC. You don't need any expertise or even use PowerShell. And users will work from the Teams interface already installed. And of course, this allows for the full support from a single supplier. So that's exactly what we've achieved in Switchware version 13. So let's move across to the desktop so I can show you the solution. So here is Teams, and if you've already used Voice, you'll recognize this icon here. So this is the standard Teams way of using Voice. You will type your number in, press Enter, and then Call. And then you get this big pop-up and you control the call, everything, and your screen is overtaken, etc., etc. So that is the traditional way of doing it, or the standard way of doing it. And here is Swix's solution. So down here, you can see I have a Swix icon in the toolbar. And when I click this, I'm taken into Teams version of Swixit. If you've already used Swixit before, you'll be aware of everything that's on the screen, but let me quickly take you through it. So here are my speed dials, uh, the common used extensions on Swix, and I've got the full presence information in here, of course. I can see, filter out only people that are logged on, or if I go to available, I can see everyone on the system. I have access to my phone books, and down the left-hand side, if I click a phone book, I can now see the global phone book, my personal phone book, et cetera, et cetera. If I go to the call journal, I can see all the calls I've had. I can see my missed calls, incoming calls, outgoing calls, callbacks, etc. I have my dial pad down here. And if I have a touch screen, of course, something like a Microsoft Surface tablet or a new touch screen laptop, I can actually dial out using this keypad or I can just type my number in here. Come back to the dialing out in a second. I have access to multiple lines inside Teams, so I can choose which identity I want to use when I dial out. So if I just click down here, you can see I have my own DDI number, or I can present the sales number. So that's the number I'll use when I'm dialing out. Up the top here, volume control for your headset or handset, three simultaneous audio devices, as in Swixit, so I can switch from headset to hands-free to loudspeaker, etc., just by clicking the appropriate icon. I have full support for our CTI mode, so this allows my Teams client to control a standard telephone. Whether it's the Swix phone in the office, the Yealink phone, or even my mobile, my Dex, my home tele, any telephone can be controlled by this interface. I have my call forwardings option. I have my privacy, so I can hide the numbers if I don't want to display anything. I can disable multiple secondary calls, and I have access to voicemails. Let's go back down to the dial pad down here. When dialing out, I simply dial my number in here. Or, don't forget this is Swix, so we do have the dial by name feature. So as standard, I have integration into Outlook and Exchange. So if I type a name in here, it's searching all our data sources and I can choose the number I want to dial. I also still have the click to dial and dial from any application that's available via Swix. So any telephone number in any application, as long as I can highlight it on the screen, when I press F11, and it doesn't matter how the number is formatted, whether it's in this international format or local format or whatever, I just press F11 and Swix dials that number. So what happens when I actually dial out? Well, let's do that.
and press enter. Now, instead of getting that giant pop-up, we get this controlled pop-up, which is a specially designed skin for Swixit. And when the call's finished, the pop-up disappears. And I hope you'd agree that's a lot neater and less intrusive than the traditional Teams pop-up. And I think I saved the best feature till last, and that is the presence synchronization. So if you're in a video call or a Teams meeting, or your Teams calendar has got you doing something, your present status will change in Teams, of course. And we've synchronized this change. If I manually bring up the Swixit interface, you can see that my Swixit interface is showing me as unavailable. I am away from my desk. That's because we're synced to the team's presence. So if I am in a video call, or I do have an appointment that puts me away from my desk, the presence inside Swix will change. And my call routing can deal with that. So I will no longer get calls or they will get a special voicemail or the calls will go to someone else, whatever you've decided to do. And I can show you this very quickly. If I manually override my presence, and set myself to as available, you can see my Swix presence is also now available. So no longer will you be interrupted with a voice call when you're doing something on Teams because we've synced that presence. Everyone will know that you're on a voice call inside Swix, of course, and now everyone inside Swix will know if you're on a video conference call. This is Swixit and Teams working seamlessly together. If you have any questions or you want to know more about the product in detail, please speak to your authorized partner.